he's treating Hugh Jackson like Hugh Jackson quit on this team. Hugh Jackson was fired. So rather than him go home and just collect money from the Cleveland Browns organization for doing nothing since he got fired, he decides to try to salvage his career as an NFL coach by going to coach at Cincinnati under his friend Marvin Lewis. Because if you are Hugh Jackson, and what was your record? Three and three thirty-six and one? You lucky if you get any kind of job from anybody after that. You got to take a job as soon as you can get one because who knows whether or not you're going to have another opportunity, not to mention the fact that if you are Marvin Lewis, who should be on his way out, Hugh Jackson is somebody that they're talking about miraculously might end up possibly being the head coach. He's supposed to sit home and do nothing. He's supposed to turn down that job. I'm just saying, if you Baker Mayfield, it's like, listen, I understand. Nine touchdowns, just one interception, completing 74% of your passes since Hugh Jackson left. You talked about the play calling, but you absolved Todd, get Todd Haley. So basically, you were pointing the finger at Hugh Jackson not really being a good play caller, even though I thought Todd Haley was calling some of the plays. He or was whatever. the play caller. Yeah, but, he was, but, 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 but Baker was ba blaming Hugh Jackson and absolved Todd Haley. That's a different discussion for another day. All I'm trying to say is, damn. He got fired. What do no, you want to do? Let's have do? that discussion today. Sure. Let's have it right now. Sure. You're not wrong. If you're Hugh Jackson or anyone, you take the job, the best That's job available. Right. Duh, of course. Yes. Baker, maybe. But the problem, In his case, the only job. <laughs> right. But the pro and by the way, he might be in line to get another head yes. coaching job right away with a they team that's not untalented. Here's the problem. You are taking Baker Mayfield far too literally. You're actually looking at the words and interpreting the precise meaning instead of what's underneath. He does not like Hugh Jackson, obviously. And the question to me, the larger question is, is that justified? And let me tell you why I think it is, and I love this Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield is next level competitive. And in a draft where you were expecting him, at first it was like, is he going to be top 10 or 15? He's small. He, you know, people don't know. He, Sam Darnold checks more boxes and everything. The Browns were like, no, we're going to go ahead and, and take the guy who we think is the best player. We're not butt covering here. We're actually going to get the best guy. Sam Darnold started for the Jets week one. Not Baker Mayfield. It was Tyrod Taylor. I thought that was a mistake. If any quarterback seemed to be ready to go. It was Baker Mayfield, but he has to sit there on the bench. Then he finally gets a chance to play. Guys, do you realize since Hugh Jackson left, Baker Mayfield has the second highest quarterback rating in the world next to Drew Brees? Do you well, know? and Todd Haley left too. Do you, keep that, uh, okay, but, the, both in mind. but he's not. But he's going at coach. So where are the yeah. feelings for him? See what I mean? Mm -hmm. He, a guy who was up close and saw it all unfold, has feelings about Hugh Jackson. And that tells you what the story is, at least from Mayfield's point of view. Baker Mayfield is so good. Ladies and gentlemen, this dude hit the ground in the NFL running. And he feels, I'm talking about from his point of view, clearly, that he and his team were kept down by Hugh Jackson. And he's mad about it. I love Baker Mayfield. This is, read between the lines here. This is the way, about the way he feels, not about the way he thinks. Baker Mayfield needs to grow up. This is pro football. You're dealing with grown men. Things happen in pro football. People get fired. Go to other, <clears throat> go to other teams. Players get cut. They go, to, they go to rivals. It happens all the time. Coach gets fired. He decides to pick up a job, available job that's, that's, you know, that Marvin Lewis obviously, you know, reached out to him about. And what I found funny about this whole thing Baker Mayfield, didn't he go from Texas, Texas Tech to Oklahoma? <laughs> oh, preach, Damien. You went from Texas Tech to Oklahoma. Two teams in the Big 12, but you want to argue, you want to yeah. talk about, you want. Someone's living. You, you want to talk about that. Yeah, that's, that's in college, college student. Student. Yeah, yeah I'm this like. Is, this is men, grown men trying to pay grown, mortgages. Right, yeah. you're talking about guys trying to pay bills. You went from, from one rival to basically to another in, in the same conference. So, like I said, Max, you talk about Baker Mayfield. <laughs> He's, he's balling he's balling these last couple weeks or whatever, but this whole comment just shows how immature he is. He needs to grow up. Well, let me say this to you, Max. I don't want to hear that about reading between the lines and reading underneath the surface. At some point in time, we get to quote you. Mm -hmm. Now, if we heard it third hand, 
or we were reading it in the newspaper. And you know how, as reporters, you got 800 words. I would know this. You write in an article, you got 800 words, and somebody gives you, like, a 600-word quote. Damn it, you ain't printing the whole quote. You understand? I get all of that. Not here, Max. That's on camera. He looked into the camera. He got asked a question. He answered it directly. I am allowed, and everybody is allowed, to look at his words directly what he said verbatim. No editing out or anything. We, he's right there. And he sat up there and said, you just going to take another job. And, you know, and, 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 you know let me I'm, ask you wait, something. Wait, listen to what he said. He said, you were in this locker room, and clearly you wasn't with us. We, we, you get that from? He was with you. So what you are, he, so this is this is my problem. This is the reason I'm interp I'm interpreting the emotion and not just taking them literally as you guys are. What you're taking away from this whole experience is Baker Mayfield has some growing up to do. Because what I'm taking away from it is Baker Mayfield is next level competitive. He doesn't like Hugh Jackson because he felt he was kept down. And this is a man who's I, not trying to be kept but that's down. What, but that's what Damien said. Damien talked about growing up. I'm saying. Damn, that was vicious and low yep. what you said. Think about it no, in no, college. No, 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 no. What, I'm, what I'm saying is... I, I, he had to if, pretend if, to if, cry if, in if, college if, to, uh, to apologize to something If Damien wants to level it as him needing to grow up, fine. I don't have a problem with that. I'm saying, damn, that's cruel. The man got fired. He got fired. Baker Mayfield didn't worry about your feelings or Hugh Jackson. I understand that. We, to we, we, we understand that. But no, no, no. He's not just trying to win because they just won. So you ain't trying to do it. You just did it. And, why, and after you did it, then you sat up there and tried to literally excoriate the man by saying he wasn't here for it. He was our head coach, but he wasn't right. down with us. That's wrong, man. He also That's low. snubbed him. He tried That's to low. hug him, and he just I put his hand out, And I like Baker Mayfield. I like Baker Mayfield, but that was low.